115. What up, fam? This is your girl on the support of Mary Dash between the Mary and the Lee. Today is February the 1st, Moon Monday in my city, Chicago, 2022. It is the first day of the new year in China and the first day of so-called Black History Month. Now, as you can see, I have my calendar right here. But if you see that the eyes is blue, and if you look a little closer, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six freckles on their face, right? Now, at the age of six in 1973, I was in Chicago Sun-Times newspaper for standing up for myself because I was abused victim as a little child, baby, growing up and still right now today. Long story short, this going out to uh, my government, the gangbangers, the criminals, Everybody that has railroaded me. And if you hear an alarm going off in the back, um, I'm just letting you know ahead of time just in case. Because it just went off not too long ago. That's another distraction I have to go through at my trap building, 6210 South Kimball Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308. And that I feel is um, a rest haven for criminals drug addicts, and so-called police who are no longer, hold on, <coughs> who are no longer in active duty. We're going to continue with this one. This is the um, second time I have to do this because um. I had to edit some stuff. You know, I'm a writer, originator of rap since the age of eight, 1975. I've got nothing out of the deal other than heartache and pain. And if you look at the movie with Samuel L. Jackson, and I believe his middle name is Lee Like Mines. He played a um, police officer that was being railroaded um, by his, you know, former colleagues or whatever and stuff because he was a good cop and, you know, they was corrupt. And long story short, it took place the movie. In my city, Chicago, which means nothing happens in this world by mistake. You know, they said life imitates art. And art imitates life. I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarming police officer. Something I did not do. But what I would like to do is um, read this um, um, story that I just wrote and edit. Hopefully, I get it right this time. Okay, now, I am the legacy, if that's what you want to call, of the Martin Luther King. I have a dream, you know speech but i believe he was part of the problem they heard me and my potentials growing up as a little girl and you know they gravitated you know and they realized i was marketable and been robbing me ever since i got nothing out to do but look this is what it says long story short nwa fuck the police came out on my mother's birthday august the 9th in 1988 and iced tea cop killer body count album came out on march 10th 1992 the same month march and date the 10th and that harriet tubman supposed to have died but after rodney king got beat up by the los angeles police on march 3rd of 1991 but why not ice t when he was the first recorded rap artist or artist to make a cop killer rap or song and when he ice t recorded cop killer from September to December of 1991 and a few months after that Rodney King got beat up on March 3rd of 1991 but the song cop killer didn't come out until 1992 but anyway um I'm, I'm emphasizing now um on March 3rd I'm going backwards of 1991 you know he got beat up Rodney King by the Los Angeles police and someone just so happened to be recording the whole beat. Now, how convenient is that? Fear tactics. But not only that, Ice-T is 63 years old and nobody in NWA, nor myself, Mary Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mack, you'll get a new support and originator of real rap music, is 60 years of age. Longer story short, I would be 55 on May 25th of this year, 2022, but I became the originator of real rap music at the tender age of eight years old. And the same number eight that Ice-T 
and who is a little over eight years older and over me, which also means family. If NWA came out in 1987 and before Ice-T in 1982 and I gave The Streets and Oprah Winfrey my child abuse rap back in 1984 and Pac, Ice Cube, and even Ice-T have all played the part of a cop in a movie or on a television show. And I got railroaded and accused of disarming a police officer in my city, Chicago, on May 31st of 2008, something I did not do. Wouldn't that seem to you, reader, kind of strange and that maybe the so-called actors, rappers, and the police are the real reasons why I merely, a.k.a. Mary Mac, your ghetto news reporter and the originator of real rap music cannot live out my life in peace? And maybe that's just maybe, no, fuck that, absolutely, positively, the police and their informants are the real criminals and thieves and who are doing all of the robbing, stealing, and killing for me and the rest of my God's children. You heard me, and if not, then say it with me, reader or listener. That is why the police i rather not see, because every time they see me, Mary Lee, they just want to kill me. Why? Because they, the police, knows that my rap legacy and my writings, they could never beat which also means reader or listener, me saying fuck the police is mandatory for me and anybody else to think, especially if making an honest living, rapping or bagging groceries is almost obsolete and right along with peace. Now, can you feel me? Family, written by Mary Lee, a.k.a. Mary Mac, February 1st, 2022, a victim and a law Joe Biden citizen. In other words, the whole system is corrupt, including the United States of America and the government and the UNIC, the United something council. You understand what I'm saying? United Nation something council. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it in there or whatever. I don't want to get it perfect and stuff because when... You know what I'm saying? I'll put it in the description or whatever and stuff. I, you know, you'll, you'll feel me or whatever. Long story short, the police was getting on my nerves so bad for making an honest living or whatever the case is and stuff you want to call it, whatever, in my city, Chicago. And I've been fighting all my life to, you know, get my child abuse rap out. And I believe they was behind all the buffoonery I was going with. Because once they put your face and name or story in the police, you know, database or the um, Chicago Sun-Times newspaper like they did with me... At the age of 6, 1973, because I wouldn't lay down and die and shit, you know, like I'm not now. You understand? Um, you know, everybody gravitate towards the ones like, you know, like like animals and stuff. And, you know, feast off of them. And they've been feasting off of me for almost 50 years now. You understand? Real talk. And I'm sick of it and stuff. So this one going out to the police, the government. I'm supposed to be going to get my check today. I'm not even rushing to do that. You know why? Because I'm worth at least a zillion. Oprah Winfrey, she worth... At least a zillion because she's been on the air, you know, or she was in my city, Chicago, for, you know, over 25 years. She went off the air on my birthday, May 25th of 2011, though. And it rained like cats and dogs. And no, I never got on her show because she was part of the problem. She didn't want to um, be the part of the problem, but so many of them, you know, that people just feel like they got to play the, play it out. You know what I'm saying? But when she said in the color purple, you know, uh, your dead body be just what we need. And I gave her my story. At the age of 17 in 1984, along with the streets and a studio at this um, mall or whatever in my city, Chicago, and I read it to my youngest niece, Deion Nelson, you know, at the age of 17 in 1984, you know, and then The Color Purple came out in 1985. I was like, damn, your dead body be just what we need. Let me know that the police ain't, you know, and Oprah and all them is just, you know, out for blood or whatever. And I've been beat up doing um, Black History Month on home end. And uh, Roosevelt in my city, Chicago, this is the very reason why I'm doing this. And um, I was at a Walgreens on the inside, and this so-called game banger was uh, pushing a cart at Walgreens. Anybody know Walgreens? You don't need no no buggy, you know what I'm saying, to shop, you understand? But it was a setup, and he had his little crew or whatever with him or whatever. And I'm by myself. I was fast or whatever at a homeless shelter because they had made me homeless or whatever and stuff. After, you know, railroaded me May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarmed police officer. I did not do. 
And, you know, he bumped me and I was like, you know, you, hey, you bumped me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not a troubled person. You understand what I'm saying? But they just wanted to see me beat down and with a black guy doing Black History Month because this just got this guy by the name of China Mac. Now, my, name, my nickname, rap name is Mary Mac. You understand what I'm saying? But the Chinese motherfuckers, you know, they duplicate everything, steal everything and stuff, you know. So China Mac, you know, fuck you too, bitch. Real fucking so. I'm telling you, real, I don't give a fuck. Not even Bruce Lee could whoop a bullet ass. And I ain't going by myself. Long story short, the game banger whooped my ass doing goddamn Black History Month after I gave the Chinese people so much money, you know, wholesale buying stuff, woo out the bam or whatever, and bring a lot of people their way and stuff for real. They wanted to be the best, I guess, you know, stealing my shit at the same time. And, you know, the black guy, you know, I was like, and he whooped my ass on camera. And I know they probably still eating and laughing off that shit today or whatever and stuff. That was uh, a day before, uh, when the Houston Post, I had died. She probably tapped out or whatever the case was. You know, February the 10th, I got my ass whooped, uh, 2012. Because, you know, yeah. And she died February 11th, allegedly, 2012 or whatever. But long story short, they blamed me. You know what I'm saying? The police came or whatever. Because, dude, whooped my ass. I got up off the goddamn floor. I fathered him. And I was weak, black guy and everything. And I followed him outside, you know, like, you ain't finished the job. So if y'all trying to kill me, you ain't finished the job. And I've been poisoned, raped, all kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Beat up, you understand? But I ain't never had a black eye before, for real, that I remember. You understand what I'm saying? As an adult and stuff, until that day and stuff. And I remember my older sister, allegedly my older sister, you know, Linda Nelson, Dion Nelson, mother, you understand what I'm saying, who I read the rap to as a, you know, teenager and stuff. Yeah, her daughter, you know. Um, but her mother, you know, got beat up by this guy named Terry or whatever and stuff. And I climbed out the window and I went and got the police and my so-called, uh, sister, Linda Nelson stood there with a black eye. You understand what I'm saying? In front of the police talking about everything. Okay. And Terry was right there. And the next day he tried to come at me. I said, I'm not my sisters. I'll kill your ass. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. And I meant that shit. So, you know, they've been trying to get back at me ever since. But what killed me is when I got my ass whooped. You know, during Black History Month, like I said back in the day, and at the Walgreens, and then the police came, and guess who it was? A Chinese police officer guy and a black, you know, police officer, you know, kind of look like me, guy. See, your own people will get you killed, and that's why we ain't getting nowhere. So if I die, we all die. Don't shit on me and say it's rain because, you know, we ain't got shit to do with the money. They want to take over everything, 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 everything. The white people, iced tea. You know, you wrong and shit because you got some girl named Coco, your wife or whatever and stuff. And I knew this stud lesbian girl, you know, uh, at the party. It used to be down the street called a 411. Her name was Coco. She was real cute. You know what I'm saying? Stud girl. And she had hazel eyes or whatever and stuff. They said she died of cancer. They gave me cancer in 2016 on the psych ward in my city, Chicago, on the Cook County jail and stuff because they they know I don't drink, drill, smoke, or fornicate and stuff. And I'm originator of rap music. I'm worth the most. And they, you know, trying to live out that motherfucking goddamn so-called dream of theirs because police, you know, they ain't, what, what do they do besides wear the same uniform all the time and hate on real motherfuckers and shit? I'm just saying, stay in tune with your star player because if I die, we all die. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Um, I'm really the first one who came out with a diss because they kept getting on my nerves and stuff. You know, uh, police diss back in the 80s because, you know, I was making an honest living. I was in and out of jail like I lived there. You understand what I'm saying? Selling general merchandise, music, woo out the bam or whatever. And they was hating and stuff because they couldn't get me to be a drug dealer or whatever the case, game bang or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I came out with a, a rap that said, the police I'd rather not see because every time they put me over, they think my car isn't drug free. Just because it's going on doesn't mean that I'm the one that's doing wrong because if I had a hoop to your passing by and laugh, but seeing this caddy makes you mad. You must be a fact to be so sensitive, worried about the way I live. Get real. Haven't you heard you can't judge a book by its color because that's your case. You get me for murder in the first degree. Police don't give a shit about you. And then they have the nerve to say, uh, we serve and protect. Yeah, I bet. Ain't that some shit? But here go the fucking goddamn break right here. Let me hurry up. Cause this, this shit is running out fast. I got the 9, the 4, and the 13. 9, 4, 13. 9, 4, 13. Add it up. Flip this Bible. Luke chapter 7. For real. Completion. Gotta go.
Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. Okay, got it.